We're the most uncoordinated people we know. So of course, we went to Costco and bought body glove stand-up paddle boards, and today we're gonna review them. Hey, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy campers. campers. And after losing a combined weight of more than 200 pounds, we realized we had so much more energy for activities. Come along with us as we explore the great outdoors. And join us on a brand new adventure. And this is an adventure indeed. It definitely is. We are currently at Bahia Onda State Park in the Florida Keys. And we decided to do something adventurous. Very unlike us to try to do something with exercise equipment. <laughs> yeah, so we had a tandem kayak and we loved it. The problem with it was it was big. And in order for us to go to a campground, we had to put the racks on the back of the truck and then you had to lug it and then you had to take it off and take it on. So a lot of times if we were just doing a two day trip, we didn't want to bring it. And then we were regretting not having something to go on the water. Exactly. In pursuit of the weekend warrior life, we're trying to get out the door as fast as possible and then get packed back into the house as fast as possible. Yeah. So we went to Costco and we bought the Body Glove Performer 11 stand up paddle boards. And these things came with everything. They're inflatable, which is great for RV life. They come with a pump, they come with a paddle. So let me go ahead here and play the footage of us on how to inflate them. And then we'll come back and talk a little bit about them. So they come in this nice backpack and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see if we can inflate it. So it does come with a little pouch to put your phone in. Okay, so the paddleboard comes with a dual action pump. Now, everything I've seen online, it says it takes about five minutes to pump it up like this, but we have two of them. So we did purchase an electric one that plugs into the cigarette lighter on your uh, car, but we're gonna try this out first and see how bad it really is. Okay, I give up. Let's go with the electric. Now that's much better. Okay, so the board is all inflated. It took about five minutes with the electric pump, but guess what? The electric pump did all of the work. And the way this works is you just set it to 15 PSI. It automatically turns off at 15 PSI. So down here you have a place for your leash. Here's your handle. You have a couple of straps if you want to add a seat to make it like into a kayak. You also have some tie down here and a GoPro mount. It's hot out here. It feels good though because there's a breeze and you have the warm sunshine. So it's a good combination, I think. Are you ready to do this? No, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get you going and then I'll come back over and inflate the other one and get myself out there. Sounds like a plan. I am so proud of you. I feel really cool. Like, I'm not cool, but- You I, are cool. I feel cool. And there's there's just something neat about it that you're thinking like, I am master of all I survey. And of course I'm like, pipe down. Okay, Jesus did it without a boat. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's really neat. And I thought that I would be somebody because I'm not great at like step dancing or working out with like, you know, a lot of coordination that I wouldn't be coordinated enough to do this, I can do it. So one thing I think they've got the perfect length of boat and you know, you're helping yourself with the paddle. So right. yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. I am proud of you. It is definitely more of a workout than I thought it was. So this thing is really good. Now, like Rachel said, we are some of the most uncoordinated people and I'm 50 years old with a bad ankle and I was able to get the hang of it. I mean, it's a little difficult for me to balance, but we're here in the Florida Keys and there's a nice little current going today. So it's a little bit more challenging and we have never done this, but we've been able to do it. So I wanted to go over a little bit about this board because I am super impressed with it. 
Now that it's inflated, you would never know that this was an inflatable paddleboard. It really feels like it's styrofoam. It's got a really good feel. It's not squishy at all. Uh, we have them inflated to about 14 PSI. So a little bit about this. I love the way this makes it so easy for transport when you're going from your car to the beach. So there's a little handle here which you can use to actually grab when you're carrying it. But then when you're here and you're trying to walk around, your paddle can go up in the front in these little bungee straps. And then this just wraps right around. And now look at this, it's all one piece. That makes it awesome. So we have at least cheers to that you don't lose your paddle board when you fall off like I did several times. There's also a place here, some D-rings to hook up some things. And it does come with this really nice like cell phone kind of wallet. And this is actually one of the best ones I've ever seen. I don't know if you noticed this, Rachel, but it's actually got three zip locks on the top. So, you know, a lot of times you get these things and they still leak water in them. It has three zip locks and then it rolls up and it Velcros closed. So everything really does stay dry in this. I mean, I know it's a little thing, but uh, I think it's great. There's a couple of D-rings here on the back so that you can actually get one of those little kayak seats and have a seat and turn this into a kayak as well. Um, up here, like I said, on the front, you have a little bit of your bungee thing so you can bring a small cooler or something like that. There's also a GoPro mount here. And again, all of this is attached to the board already. There's also, funny, a little hook up here so that you can actually pull this behind a boat. It even says here it's got a max speed rating of eight miles an hour. Um, now down here on the back, this is where you're gonna inflate it and deflate it. And here's another D-ring for your uh, ankle leash. And the padding on here is really nice. It's very, very comfortable on your feet. Now flipping it over, um, you can see here, we do have three fins in the back. It does have the little body glove thing here. Um, if I'm gonna have a negative about this particular board, it's the fins are not removable. So they're permanently attached to the board. So make sure you're careful when you're going in the water and stuff like that because you can't replace them. Uh, but again, for the price, uh, which was $399 at Costco, I think it's a great deal. So now when I flip it back over again, this oar, this paddle actually breaks down into three pieces. And again, you saw when we were assembling the whole thing, it also comes with a, a little repair kit in a tube as well as the backpack So we, and the pump. So when you're all done, you can deflate it. Everything rolls back up. You put it into that backpack and you're ready to go on to your next location. I'm somebody who is all about saving money. Mm -hmm. So when I saw a $400 sticker price, I was like, oh, I don't want to pay that much money. However, once we got here to rent one of these guys, it's $35 for two hours per person. Yeah. So that is $70 per camping trip and I don't get to take it home with me. And you only get it for two hours. We've already been out here on the water for three hours. Yeah. And we're here for four days. Right. So if you wanted to come out for a couple of hours every single day, one camping trip will actually pay for your board. And the thing about it is, is having this because they're inflatable, we're going to use them more. You know, yeah. I'm more apt to take them on every single camping trip or store them in the basement of the RV because almost every place we go has water anyway. And so now we can pull up anywhere if there's a spring, if there's a lake or something like that, quickly inflate them. It only takes five minutes to inflate them, whether you're doing it by hand or by electric pump. I highly recommend the electric pump, by the yeah. way. Um, that was extra. I think it was about $90 on Amazon. Totally worth well it. well worth it. <laughs> uh, we're going to use it a lot more. And now I know that every time we go, we're going to be able to enjoy the water and we're not going to have to rent. Because if you think about it, every time you go, if you've got to spend $35, 70 150 dollars to rent your kayaks or your paddle You're not going to do it every time. And this is versatile because you can kneel, you can sit, you can stand up, and it really is a full body workout. Yeah, and I like, it's it's pretty much everything you would want to bring with you if you're at the beach. If you want to just use it to float around and, and look into the water like reef snorkeling, right. you can do that. You can lay on it like a raft. You could use it like a surfboard because of the way that it's shaped. And then also having the kayak and the paddleboard options. It's just much more versatile than I expected it to be. And it was a lot easier to get the hang of than I ever thought. If I can be. do it, 
you can do it. No, how about if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Well, that's gonna be our short little review of the Body Glove Performer 11 stand-up paddle board. Now, let us know down in the comment section if you ever tried stand-up paddle boarding because we never have and we didn't think we were gonna be able to do it. So if you like seeing videos like this, please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. It really helps build the channel and also make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.